So we need to get the weight and balance as accurate as possible for the next phase of the Prano 3 vehicle. I so I've always wanted to work for NASA since I was a, a little kid. So in high school, I knew I wanted to be an aerospace engineer. So just because we already made these. Okay. And I set my goals out to work for NASA uh, from an early age. One of the things I, I knew I had to do was go one of the, the top schools in the nation for me to, to try to achieve that goal. And so I started looking at all the school options I had. With your side. I found out that MIT was the number one engineering school in the country, and so I set my goals into to going to MIT. Good in the work. Keep going. My name's Oscar Murillo, and I'm an aerospace engineer at NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center. Uh, I also manage the MIRO project, uh, M-I-R-O. It stands for the MIRAP Institutional Research Opportunity. Um, so I manage uh, several different cooperative agreements um, at several different universities, um, and they're doing research for NASA. Yeah. What do you I have an inverter. Um, oh, you have an inverter? I work with a lot of undergraduate students and some graduate students when they come out here and work for NASA, working on the Prandtl project. Those are good. Prandtl is an uh, investigation of a new wing design. We're looking at the benefit of putting a twist into a wing structure that uh, modifies the uh, aerodynamic load that is experienced by the vehicle. I work with my colleague Al Bowers, Where? who's the chief scientist here at NASA Armstrong. And uh, normally our philosophy is just allow the research to be conducted by the students. Are we ready? Three, two, one, release. This is definitely a groundbreaking uh, program. Uh, however, we want the students to be at the forefront of the research. They're involved from the very beginning of the flight test all the way to the, flight, the very end. And so they, they get to experience in a very short amount of time, the full uh, process that um, we experience as aerospace engineers here at, at Armstrong. You know, at the end of the day, they're truly excited to be an aerospace engineer, and, um, and I'm excited that they've wanted to work for NASA and that they've um, really had the passion to, to move this organization forward. That these students are the future of NASA and that um, we will leave them in good hands when they start working for, for the agency. I'm really encouraged by uh, what I see when I work with the interns. My free time I spend a lot with my, uh, with my daughter. I'm, I'm a new dad. Uh, she's two years old and um, me, my wife and her I like to spend time um, hanging out and it's really exciting to uh, allow her to experience things for the very first time. My dad was born in Mexico and my mom was born in Arizona. Uh, both of them are Mexican-American. So I draw a lot of strength from my culture. I really want to make sure that my daughter understands her cultural background and um, one of those things is family values and so we want to make sure that as much as we can we surround her with her grandparents, with her aunts and her uncles and just have that foundation so that when she grows up she makes family a priority for her as, as well. It gives me perspective on why I want to be an engineer and why I do the things that I do. I think that working for NASA is, is truly giving back to um, to the community and giving back to uh, the country and uh, we're doing the work to benefit uh, the nation as a whole.